All right. So likely to see Ryu versus. Geese. That's probably Geef, the better, yeah, better choice than Kami. No, I know you always tell me this matches. I want to reuse more even matches. Am I right? Um. Yeah, I would have said. Well, I don't know actually. Um. I would even be tempted to say it's. I wouldn't say it's specifically in Geef's favour, but it's one of his better matchups. I would have said. Well, I mean, I don't play either character, but on the surface, so from what I've seen or what I'm seeing now, rather, it doesn't seem like too bad of a match for Geef at all. No. I mean, his Ryu's fireball game is not really that effective against Geef because of his lariat. But yeah, it depends entirely on the type of Ryu player that you, you're facing. Um, it can be a real pain in the backside if he's using slow fireballs and he's got good reactions because he can just fireball, fireball you on reaction pretty much. Um, but Geef has got some good tools in this matchup. Um, the green hand's pretty much useless, so you have to really uh, preempt the, the fireball. Um, but I think the thing that makes this uh, an all right match for Geef is that the, you've got the lariat, so you can get a knockdown if you get a uh, lariat through a fireball close up, and that's very strong for Geef. I know that unlike. Unlike characters like Guile and Sagat, like Ryu doesn't have a lower poke that can effectively reach the Lariat to like punish it that well. No, that's right. One of the, the, the things common to all matches where Zangief uh, loses... It's if they have a good lower poke. They've got a good low move. Like you've got uh, Old Saga who's got godlike low fireball. Um, Douse him with his low medium, his low stretchy punches. Uh, Blank with his slide. Pretty much anyone with a, a good low attack uh, is, is highly effective against. It's funny because Honda doesn't have many good low attacks, so he beats Keith. <laughs> no, that's that's true. But the hand slap kind of acts like a long range poke, uh, and obviously stand jab beats practically everything uh, Zang, uh, Zangief can do on jumping. So you you can pretty much just turtle away and just Oof. never really super. risk more than than a jab. Yeah, forward and roundhouse are just far roundhouse of all time, I guess, isn't really too bad either with Honda, because that's a low attack, technically. Yeah. And we're spent taking an early lead right now, we'll see what happens. Yeah, you got Fuzzy on the sidelines, uh, coaching up swing, so, oh, good SPD. Yeah, nice reversal. Not sure if Absolute knows that the sweep one actually reach the lariat. I think in this matchup you're probably better off using the um, low low forward. Then you yeah. can combo into fireball yeah. if you see it hit. Well, just fireball anyway. Yeah, to push him back. Uh, whereas if you get the sweep, you'll get the knockdown. The fireball um, will just go straight past as, as he's fallen down. So you're better off taking the extra damage with the low forward into fireball. Yeah, definitely. I know one thing you tell me about this match, but make, you think makes it easier for Ken, like, which I agree is that he has the jumping fear since the Tatsu. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's definitely really effective in this um, in this matchup. Another one of the other things that um, Geef struggles with is um, strong jumping attacks, um, particularly with Ken because you can do the hard, the fierce punch, jump in, and then combo that into Taksu. Uh And then if that hits correctly, then you can usually go for a sweep or a low short into uh, fireball or something like that. Low forward into crazy kick, and um, that usually puts you out of range. Of, a, of an SPD, so you've got to jump in for free pretty much. Uh, Ryu can't do that. Um, if you hit him at the top of your jump with the fierce, then by the time you land, you'll be unsafe. The combo's um, expired basically, so you can't combo into it. With Ken, you've got all day to combo into it because you can do so many moves in between hitting him as you as you jump in and when you actually land. Not to mention Ken's fireball, the ball. Oh, new can anyway, his champ fireball is much slower, so that can sometimes give you a lot of trouble. Yeah, low fireball is definitely, uh, sorry, the, the slow fireball is definitely good in this match, and then um, the stand roundhouse just like to say that. Is, uh, works as like a really good poke, even though it's not the first thing you think, is, uh, think of as a poke. Oh, random dizzy. I don't think that was so random, that seemed like. Um, I didn't expect him to get dizzy that quick. He did, did land quite a few heavy hits though, so I think that was about right. Oh, um, 
That was a smart move from Sprint. Green hand for the chip. Goes for the green hand for the chip damage rather than risking anything like a SPD where it might get reversal. It's been just one round away now from taking it. Oh, nice and there's the bait. Of course, the problem with this matchup is Geef can just mix you up over yeah. and over again. You know, stand short into Sweet. SPD, stand short into Sweep, stand short into nothing, wait for this, wait for the DP, and then punish.